Genesis X, a raw and real fighting games tournament in the heart of San Jose, California. It is here where skill is tested, talent blossoms, and champions are made in front of spectators online and in person. Fans in the audience came to cheer on their favorite players. In the esteemed rivals of Ether's solo division of the tournament, there were many who arrived at Genesis X to watch one player in particular work his magic on the main stage. However, I do feel like this might be a beacon of what's to come in this set, though. Cake has actually been parrying roughly about 80, 90% of these rocks that we've seen thrown so far, and that's a pretty clean one-stock win there for Cake Assault. But down to Forsburn extraordinaire Cake Assault was definitely one to watch over the February weekend. It became very clear to fans that Cake Assault was the standout player of Genesis X. He defeated Cheesy Potato in a fast and brutal 3-0 win, then bested Rastor hopeful Kusi in a three-game winner's final reverse sweep. His fiery aggression with his staple force burn pick was overthrowing players all weekend. But there was one who rose to challenge Cake Assault in the competition's final hour. Maple Marvel's Soul Rifle had so much work to get done after his fall from the winners' semi-finals. The audience was particularly impressed with Soul Rifle after his clutch fifth game win over competitive rivals Icon Penguin in the loser's side of the bracket. Cheesy Potato, who worked so hard at her own redemption story in the top eight, fell to the might of Soul Rifle in three speedy games. The Maple player's mobility was out of this world. With Lily's snare in the final moments, Soul Rifle closed out the series and moved on to the grand final. Every time Maple gets a touch, this seems like it could be death. Oh man, almost gets the kill there. That fair would have Galaxy. Mm -hmm. I mean, if it didn't Galaxy, just an easy double dunk. Oh, got the air dodge. Where are we going? That'll do. Yeah. Soul Rifle would be the one to rise up against Cake Assault. And as fate would have it, create one of the biggest upsets over the weekend in San Jose. Stage control swayed from player to player until Soul Rifle eventually gained the percentage lead in game one of the grand final. Cake Assault was showing exceptional edge guarding, but Soul Rifle's all round aerial play won out by the end. Pivoting to the frozen fortress, Soul Rifle worked circles around Cake Assault in spectacular fashion bringing him down to his final stock while he remained at three with just 92%. Cake finally put an elimination to his name, but Soul Rifle clearly had the bull by the horns. We are at 56% and ooh, we are moving here. Siffy is playing out of his mind right now. A single neutral win turns into 50 plus percent every single time and disadvantage. That tech to get back on stage, oh. punishing Cake for his own reversal there. And that One more game is all Soul Rifle needed to reset the grand final bracket and begin his final stint to the Genesis X Trophy. The tighter stage of Spirit Tree saw a glimpse of hope for Cake Assault as he put an early stock on the scoreboard. Although the Forsburn player was using his parries effectively, Soul Rifle took the lead after claiming the following two stocks. He was going to war with Cake Assault's clones. Despite that, Soul Rifle continuously prevented recovery. He reminded the Genesis X crowd why he was worthy of a grand finalist position. He would have got a kill with the down strong anyway, but the clones lamenting that this is a two-player game. We love doubles. Get down, Mr. President. <laughs> There's God. that aggression. It feels like the kid yes. is coming for his throne. We are giving a reset. The bracket had been reset. Success in one final best-of-five series 
is all Soul Rifle needed to become a Rivals champion in San Jose. The players took their seats and prepared themselves for the Rivals of Ether Genesis X Grand Final Reset. It was a story of a determined underdog versus a Rivals tournament mainstay. The Swampy Estuary was selected for Game 1, and as fate would have it, Soul Rifle's immaculate edge guard play was rewarded with taking first blood. Despite Cake Assault's amazing parry timing, Soul Rifle's Lily frequently set him up for exceptional combos. The Forsburn player was falling victim to his opponent's aggression. At a single life apiece, Cake Assault's percentage climbed dangerously high. Soul Rifle had this one in the bag after a glorious display of aerial tactics. Oh, the Got fastball! It. He didn't get the double jump, or he didn't get the jump. Either way, we saw a drop zone combust, and it did not pay off. And now uh -oh. Soul Rifle uh -oh. mounting uh -oh. his own offense, oh, and that is off the top. Concentration and perseverance were paying off for the loser's side contender. Two more games is all he needed. Travelling to the forest floor for game two, Soul Rifle was evading so many strikes straight off the bat. Cake Assault was once again wrapped by Lily at high percentage and forced to give up an early stock. The pace of the game started to slow up while Cake Assault hid inside of his smoke clouds. For the Maple player, it was timing and execution that ultimately put him two stocks ahead. The match was over in the blink of an eye. Something was clearly rattling Cake Assault, who was now one game away from losing it all. Mm -hmm. He is so in control of this that it doesn't matter what Cake tries to do. I yep. think it's a yep. three because stock, and it yes, is it is. Over for him in this game, too. Soul Rifle was having the set of his life. The crowd could tell just how badly he wanted this win. Now, but a strenuous minute man, 10 went by before Cake Assault blasted his opponent off the map for first blood. A breath of life for the struggling player. Climbing near 200%, Cake lost his first stock, but it was immediately followed up with a combo of his own to bring Soul Rifle to his final life. To the crowd's excitement, Cake Assault finally came alive. A sequence of aerials sliced Soul Rifle off stage, delivering him his first loss in the reset. Cake had found that fighting flair the Genesis audience so desperately wanted. He would continue that winning momentum into the fourth game when he opened up on Soul Rifle once again for first blood. A much needed stock just 40 seconds in. He was starting to really punish his opponent. K controlled the stage, no longer falling victim to Soul Rifle's aggressive playstyle. That all changed moments later, as Cake Assault became more predictable to Soul Rifle. Smoke shrouded the stage, but it didn't fool the talented Maple Master. He had smoke! And he has to. He absolutely the the panic roll, panic roll! That's not it. Mark Gets a mark again. That's it. That'll do Off it. The top. That's it. That'll do it. There we That's go. It. Soul Rifle is your Genesis X champion. Don't look at us. Look at him. Oh my God. Look at that man. He has done it. Look it was a grueling fight of the ages from a challenging lower bracket. Our Genesis champ chapter. Soul Rifle never gave up and never slowed down on his pursuit of a grand finals victory. Thank you, congratulations. We, we were saying this was the race for first, and you are the best in the world now. That's unreal. That's so unreal. Thanks for watching. Hit the subscribe button to keep up to date with the amazing esport content from around the gaming globe. Only on Unbeaten Esports.